Hello guys, I'm Izzy from London and you're watching Fun for Louis. Well today we're jumping on the bus again and we're heading into town to a restaurant that we were recommended yesterday. One of the viewers that we met, her parents own this restaurant. Yes, well, This is Taina, she's invited us. This is her dad's place. And this is amazing food. Look at all the selection. What have you, what have you gone for, Dad? Um, this is Goya Bada in pastry. This is banana in pastry. I haven't had this before. And uh, this is lasagna and chicken and feijoada. All very Brazilian. I'm very excited, guys. I found some hot sauce. Brazilians aren't known for their hot sauce, so. Get some spice on there. That's what I'm talking about. It's time for dessert. Got some jelly. Gelinchino. Right, we're having a What's that smoothie. One? Oh, ginger. This ginger. is pineapple, cabbage, coconut, Water. ginger. What else is in it? Um, uh, mint. 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 Yeah. This is Amazing. delicious. Have some. Try some, Darcy. Can we only get one? No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for lunch. Thank you. <laughs> We've wandered across town and we're about to jump on a ferry and take a little boat trip across to Niteroi, which is another part of Rio, a little peninsula. And uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. We haven't been on a boat. Brazil yet. There are a lot of people getting on this boat. Mind the gap. Right, we arrived in Niteroi. Didn't really know what to expect. It's very, very built up, very urban. Just like any part of the inner city, really. Uh, we're wandering down to try and find a coffee. That's a priority for me and Darcy right now. It's definitely coffee time. I got my coffee and we're taking a little stroll down to this beach. Guys, there are so many mussel shells on this beach. Literally the whole beach is made up of mussel shells. This is insane. I love these oily, shimmery patterns in the mussel shells. It looks so cool, like pearl. This isn't a very stable rock. I think this could fall off. Put it in. Yeah, it's not it's not swallowing it. Take it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's so funny. 
it's often the case that we don't really know where we're going or what we're doing, so we're just following the crowds. I think, I think it's this way. Well, it was a short little visit to Netroy, but it was nice. Now we're getting back on the boat. Well, no boat ride there's something about being on a boat and having the sea air just rushing past that just is exciting it feels like you're going on a voyage somewhere I think one day I will go on a voyage somewhere on a boat somewhere far away well, we're back we're gonna head up chill for a little bit charge our phones and stuff and then make a little bit of a plan tonight. We're back on the bus and me and my dad are heading back into the centre of Rio to try and find a samba night, which we heard about. Apparently Monday nights are not a big night to go out, so there's just one place. Well, I've got a feeling we may have come out too late. We're going to try anyway. And uh, This is our last night in Rio. My dad managed to successfully book some tickets today for us to go out to Manaus tomorrow. Uh, we're leaving like lunchtime, so we're going to make the most of tonight and hopefully if we can't find this samba thing, we'll find something fun to do. Right, off to find our samba night. Let's go, Dad. Let's go. I reckon... Back this way or down there? I can back this way, I think it's faster. Oh, let's cut through here, let's cut through here. Ooh. Right. We don't know how dangerous this area is. We keep on getting warned not to flash our expensive electronics around, so... I'll be uh, cautious where I'm vlogging. Well, we definitely found something. We've been walking through streets, completely deserted, and then we turn the corner and there's this. So I think we've found our place. I'm so glad we found the samba music, it was awesome and I'm definitely coming back to this place on a Monday night and we're just taking a little stroll around now just to see some of the surroundings. Check out this cool fence, colouring pencils, how awesome is that? Cheers dad! Cheers! Cheers. This is turning out to be quite a fun evening. Dad, what are you saying about these buildings? Well, wouldn't you mind to live in a street like this? Look at the character of these places. They're 1897, that's over 100 years old. But most of the roofs are missing. It's like a stage set and a film set. It's a front bit, but incredible. When it just squatters upstairs. Two buildings here, half collapsed. Then it just carries on. They're just incredible buildings. 
We just can't believe they're all derelict and kind of left in a state of disrepair. We were just chilling on the bus and then I was like, wait, I think this might be our stop. And we realised, yeah, we realised we'd gone way past where we were supposed to get off. What a fun night though, that's amazing. And we're going to try and find a, a little shop that's open now because there's a few little things we need to buy before heading off tomorrow. And we don't want to be rushing around in the morning, so... That looks open, let's see what's over there. Just, uh, just walking back, just spotted a little random fire on the floor. I don't know what that is. I think this might be a little uh, memorial thing. Maybe someone died here. There's a lot of molten wax. Okay. Right, we're getting some sleep. Tomorrow morning we are heading to the airport and then off to Manaus, which is in the Amazon. And I'm pretty excited about this next part of our adventure in Brazil. Lots of jungle trekking. I'm a little bit worried about the internet, but I'll update you guys when I find out stuff. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.